let's move on to fixed match. We are doing semi-supervised learning. And the idea of semi-supervised learning is you want to leverage on label data to improve a model's performance. The idea is very simple. We can actually explain it in, uh, in one figure. Previously, we were using the same augmentation in terms of the magnitude of the augmentation, in terms of its strength. The augmentations could be different when you're applying it on an un unlabeled image, but they had similar magnitudes. Maybe both of them were translations of the image or its rotation. But nobody says that the strength of these two augmentation strategies need to be the same or have the same magnitude. If you relax that assumption, we can weakly augment an image, perhaps flip it left and right, push it through your model. Your model is going to have an easier time classifying that. You turn that prediction, you, pre you produce a pseudo label, which is basically turn this probability distribution into a one hot vector. And then that's going to be the label for the strongly augmented version of your image. And then you're going to minimize the cross entropy between these two distributions. In terms of notation, you have L number of classes. You have a batch of B labeled examples. Your labels are just one hot labels. You have your unlabeled images or unlabeled examples. It's going to be mu times bigger. So mu is determining the relative size of labeled data and unlabeled data. You have a model, which is this model here, that takes as input an image and it's going to put a, output a distribution over labels. H is the cross entropy. The strong augmentation strategy, less denoted by a capital A. And by a strong, these are coming out of uh, auto ML when you apply them for data augmentation. Basically, you are trying to find the best augmentation strategy. And auto augment and rand augment is a simpler version of auto augment where your search space is actually smaller compared to the search space of auto augment. But it's actually giving you better augmentation strategies. We will spend a lot of time on, on auto ML in part one of the course. So we are borrowing ideas from there. Or we can actually, these are Python packages and you can simply use them in PyTorch or TensorFlow. And then there is cutout where you cut a portion of your image out, you remove it. There are some weak augmentation strategies like simple flipping and shifting and random crops of your image, which is equivalent to shifting. And then we learned about consistency regularization, which is that if you take your unlabeled image, augment it, push it through your model, it should give you the same distribution. You might say these two are actually the same. No, because alpha is a random function. It's a stochastic function. Each time that you call it, it's going to augment your image in a different way. And also PMs don't need to be the same. You could have a different dropouts in them. Or one of the models could have different parameters compared to the other model. So these are actually different things. Let's recap the type of ideas that we covered that we're generalizing this consistency regularization idea. For one of them, the first paper that we covered, virtual adversarial training, alpha was adding perturbations to these images. And these were smartly chosen perturbations. These were adversarial examples. For the models, one of them, the mean teacher method, uh, perhaps the model on the, on the left was a moving average of the models on the right. You can replace this mean squared error with a cross entropy loss, which was the previous paper that we covered. You can use stronger forms of augmentation. There are some other ideas which are different from consistency regularization, like pseudo labeling. You have your unlabeled data. This, this should remind you of noisy students. You have your unlabeled image label it using your model, but then look at the examples in your unlabeled data set that your model is relatively confident. Basically, you put a threshold, which is this dashed line here. And if one of these probabilities is surpassing that threshold, that example is going to be included in the training process. 
what is q hat b you're gonna do the art max of q b your probabilities this is q b which is a probability distribution and then q hat b is this one hot uh, encoded version and pseudo labeling is related to encouraging the model predictions to have a low entropy or high confidence on your unlabeled data so what is fixed match it's going to uh, merge these two classes of ideas you have supervised loss you have unsupervised loss for your supervised loss you know the corresponding labels and you do weak augmentation of your images for your unlabeled ones you still look at the ones that your model is really confident about those images you include them in your training process this one uh, this indicator function here is actually going to do that for you any data where your model is confident about its prediction is going to be included otherwise it is just a zero uh, you're going to do a strong augmentation on your unlabeled data push them through your model you want to train that to train that you need to know the corresponding label the corresponding label is going to come out of the same model with a weak augmentation and that's exactly what you have here weak augmentation your model the prediction get the pseudo labels and those pseudo labels are going to help you train your model operating on the strongly augmented images and let's see some results on cfar 10 this is really impressive cfar 10 has 10 labels 10 classes per each class you are going to include only one image so in total you have 10 labeled images one per each class the rest of them are unlabeled and then fixed match is reaching 78 percent accuracy on top of that this is impressive because now the boundary between few shot learning and semi-supervised learning is getting blurry you can classify fixed match as a few shot learning strategy you're learning from one example per each class okay any questions about fixed match was everything clear okay perfect